Thank you so much. I, I, should, I, I should explain something straight away. Usually when I come out on stage, uh, it's amazing. I'm doing cartwheels, I'm doing backflips. It's fucking spectacular. But I've hurt my back. Um, that's true. That is true. I've pulled a muscle in my spine playing golf. I know what you're thinking. Serves me right for playing such a stupid game as golf. But um, <laughs> no, I've been in agony. I'm on painkillers right now. So if I suddenly start talking like Kerry Katona, you'll know why. I... <laughs> I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. <laughs> Mother of the year, one year. Um, <laughs> When the doctor gave me the painkillers, this is true, he said, no, you can't drink alcohol with these. And I went, I don't want them then. And he went, <laughs> what? I said, give me some you can drink alcohol with. <laughs> and he went, we well, are not meant to drink with any painkillers. Who are you, my fucking mother? Just go. <laughs> so yeah, I've been walking around like the elephant man, like, oh, but without the big cock, obviously. <laughs> I assume he had a big elephant's cock to go with the head, so I don't, then it would balance things out, wouldn't it? No, because then he'd look in the mirror and he'd go, Oh, no. What? <laughs> fucking Zippy, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> no, shut up. So, no, then he'd sort of go, oh, no. Oh, look at that head. Hold on, though. What's going on down here? <laughs> Swings and roundabouts. <laughs> Let's celebrate. The buns are on me. Um, <laughs> don't you hate that when an artist cancels? You turn up and you go, concert cancelled due to sore throat. Or, I couldn't go on, I was depressed. Oh, can you imagine a labourer trying that? going, oh, I've got a little tickle and I'm fed up. Oh, move the fucking bricks, mate. <laughs> One artist has had a good excuse to cancel a concert in recent years, and that's Michael Jackson. <laughs> Everyone else is a fucking malingerer. <laughs> Never cancel. I had a, a gig in Dublin a couple of months back. Um, O2 Arena, Dublin, 10,000 seats, sold out way in advance, getting towards the gig, looking forward to it. A few days before, all the planes start being grounded because this volcanic ash cloud. A volcano goes off in Iceland and we can't get on a plane. What's the point of fucking Iceland, really? <laughs> I thought it went bankrupt. Just get rid of it. It's no good. It's not doing... Just put into... Fill in the fucking volcanoes with concrete. In fact, tarmac the whole country <laughs> and make it a car park for real Europe. Waste of space. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and sort of like pop stars and that coming to England were cancelling, they couldn't get on a flight. And I was thinking, I can't cancel, I can't cancel, I've got to get there. So, I hired a helicopter to and from Dublin, cost me £12,000, just because I couldn't bear to let anyone down or take the ferry. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, they were still running fine, sure. <laughs> I think there were extra ones they put on, but... Uh, that would have meant mixing with the general public. And, so, this is about as close as I ever want to be to, <laughs> to no offence, scum. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know if anyone was affected by the volcanic ash cloud, but I had friends all around the world that couldn't get back. They missed weddings and funerals, and they had to put themselves up in hotels that they hadn't budgeted for for weeks on end, and they couldn't get their money back because the airlines were saying, no, we can't pay you because the insurance companies won't pay us because they're saying it's an act of God. What isn't an act of God? If you believe in God, that's sort of a definition of him, isn't it? That he does everything. <laughs> he's he's all-powerful and he's everywhere. He invented everything. He was a, w before he was around, there was nothing. He invented time, space, everything, OK? So he's across it all. Nothing happens by mistake. No, he's not absent-minded. A volcano going off. It's not like him going, oh, fuck, I left the oven on. That doesn't... <laughs> These insurance companies that know what is and isn't an act of God, how do they decide? Have they, have they got a hotline to God? They call God up, do they? And go, ring, ring. Hello? Hello? <laughs> um, could I speak to God, please? Speaking. <laughs> oh, what? I didn't think you'd answer the phone yourself. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> um, sorry, that volcanic ash cloud, was that you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was an act of me, all right. <laughs> so I shouldn't pay out. Don't fucking pay in a penny, son, no. <laughs> oh, jeez. While I've got you here, um, did you make a tree fall on Steve Baxter's car? <laughs> Lot of Steve Baxter's. Um, to Acacia Road, Hounslow. It happened on the 3rd of June, 
2.15. 3rd of June, 2.15. No, that wasn't me. I was in Africa then, giving AIDS to babies. <laughs> He does everything. <laughs> <laughs> I love books of quotations. I, so I, I read them um, for pleasure. I've got a few of these compilations. And uh, one of my heroes is Winston Churchill. And uh, when I read, give us the tools and we will finish the job, I thought, how inspiring. And when I read, never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. I thought, how patriotic. And when I read, it is a good thing for an uneducated man to read books of quotations, <laughs> I thought, you cheeky, fat git. <laughs> People say that Oscar Wilde is the greatest genius that's ever lived. Let's test that. Let's have it. it is one of his. All women become like their mothers. That is their tragedy. No man does. That is his. That sounds a bit gay to me. <laughs> Just, I don't know. I'll give it another go, isn't it, one? I couldn't help it. I can resist everything except temptation. That sounds gay as well. <laughs> I want to start that with an ooh. I want to go, oh, I couldn't help it. You know? Oh. <laughs> and I want to end it with, I can resist everything except temptation. Chance to be a fine thing. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and when he went through customs all those years ago in New York, and the customs officer, just doing his job, said, have you anything to declare? Oscar Wilde famously said, nothing but my genius. It's not witty. He planned that. I bet the first time we went through customs in a foreign country, he was all, yes, sir, no, sir. And he declared, no, on you go. Thank you. Oh, I just thought of something fucking brilliant to say. <laughs> oh. Excuse me, can I go? No, no. Oh, God. He had to wait weeks in those days, back on a boat to England, planning it. And he declared, nothing but my genius. I'll be in a book of quotations, won't I? So he gets there again, finds the same bloke, goes on, bloke goes, on you go. Oh, didn't even fucking ask me that time. <laughs> Excuse me, they didn't ask me if I had to declare. Random. Oh, fucking random. Back on the boat, three weeks planning it, anything to declare, no jeans. Gets there again, right? Gets in the same bloke's queue. This time he looks all shifty, so he gets called out. And the bloke goes... <laughs> Did you buy anything? That's not the question. Just... <laughs> say have you anything to declare. Have you anything to declare? Nothing but my genius. Who's the butt plugs? Like, they're mine. 